what is up it's bash Instagram on the video and this time it's about this thing called li-fi what is it and where is it going so li-fi stands for light fidelity and it's going to be the eventual replacement for wi-fi related internet while the term li-fi stems from the word light fidelity the word wi-fi stems from the word hi-fi which is the word that you used to refer to start of like the audio in your living room so high fidelity the people presenting li-fi have taken the idea of sending morse code messages between ships and use it to send data to your phone li-fi is also known as visible light communication or vlc a company by the name of Velemini has produced a light bulb that works with li-fi technology on a small scale they are not the first to prove the technology works but they are the first to carry out a real world test the demonstrations have shown data transfer speeds of about around 1 gigabit per second or just around 100 times faster than average Wi-Fi data speed in the USA today. Harold Haas is a physicist and a professor of mobile communications at the University of Edinburgh. He was the first to coin the term Li-Fi, doing so at a TED talk during TED Global 2011. Haas also coined the term Visible Light Communications or VLC. You can watch Harold Huss's Li-Fi TED talk where Li-Fi was essentially made public recorded back in 2011 in the month of July. This man also created the group Pure Li-Fi, announced near the end of November 2015. That means they're making a light bulb with Li-Fi technology inside it. Li-Fi can deliver data quite a bit faster than Wi-Fi, but like Wi-Fi, its speeds depend on the initial potential speed of the data being delivered by, for example, your home's internet service. If your home internet speed is capped at 1 gigabit per second speeds, Li-Fi depends on your device being within the range of the light being transmitted by your Li-Fi bulb. You literally need to be able to see the light to get the data. Li-Fi successfully tested at 150 megabits per second, says Chinese scientists. Again, Li-Fi requires that you be in the stream of light being emitted by the light source. This imitation does not seem to be deterring creators like Hats, who suggest that these opportunities are on a small scale as the photography industries move from analog to digital technology. The rollout of Li-Fi technology is not an absolute lock. This is still relatively new technology and not one that's going to take over or negate all past technologies, mostly because of its present limitations. Instead, you can imagine Li-Fi to be an addition to the internet transmission technologies that are already used today. You can think of Li-Fi versus Wi-Fi or mobile data so like a gaming console, like a PS4 or an Xbox One, compared to a gaming PC. While gaming PCs might be moving faster and providing a more Hi-Fi experience for gamers, there's still going to be masses of users sticking with the console for years to come, if only because it's more convenient to play games on one's TV. So what do you guys think about Li-Fi? Leave it in the comments below and I would love to hear what you guys have to think about this and please do give this video a like rating and I'll see you guys in the next one.